<coughs> it is 7 o'clock. I'm going to call this meeting to order. All right, all right, for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I, pledge I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty. Note all are in attendance. And we'll move right into it. Uh, I need a motion to approve the regular board meeting minutes of March 14, 2022, as presented. So moved. Second. Okay, Flores? Yes. Uh, Belt? Yes. Missouri? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Herman? Yes. Pappas? Yes. Palmer? Yes. Motion carried. And I need a motion to approve regular board executive session meeting minutes of March 14, as presented. So moved. Second. Belt? Yes. Missouri? Yes. Fernandez? Yes. Herman? Yes. Pappas? Yes. Hallmeyer? Yes. Flores? Yes. Motion and I need a motion to amend the minutes from the February 14th, 2022 to reflect the purpose of the executive session which for Open Meetings Act exceptions 2C1, 2C2, and 2C11. So Second. Missouri? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Herman? Yes. Pappas? Yes. Palmer? Yes. Flores? Yes. And Bell? Yes. Motion carried. And I need a motion to approve the April 2022 expenses as presented. Note um, the additional mm -hmm. bills. So moved. Second. I'm sorry, who was that? Okay. Hernandez? Yes. Herman? Yes. Pappas? Yes. Palmer? Yes. Flores? Yes. Belt? Yes. And Missouri? Yes. Motion carried. Okay. <coughs> and Mr. Peters? Balance in the uh, Supernow account at First Community at the end of March was $72,971.63. <clears throat> we had checks outstanding of $36,073.56. Uh, March payroll expense carryover totaled $12,435 leaving the adjusted bank balance at $24,495.72. The lunch program had a balance of $1,893.84, impressed fund $5,000, totaling $31,389.56. Investments <coughs> finished the month at $8,582,200.73, even the balance of all funds as of March 31st at $8,613,590.29. March receipts, were two million six hundred eleven thousand five fifty three twenty one expenses two million nine hundred twenty five thousand seven oh seven fifty eight the fund balance is finished uh, the month at uh, education fund three million four hundred sixty six thousand four ninety nine oh nine <coughs> building fund minus one oh one four twelve fifty eight bond and interest minus eighty three six six four twenty four transportation fund one million nine twenty nine 75903, IMRF 137, 756, working cash, 2,596,627.63, tort fund 155,257, 78, and life safety 12,766.80. March interest was 196.14. We had about four distributions from the state. Uh, state aid, 211,938 on the nose. Lunch program, $19,030.18. <clears throat> SOIC, $42,090. And state free lunch of two thirty seventy six. dollars And there were no distributions. They should be starting up here soon. Fingers crossed. Okay. Any questions for Mike? Okay. Um, Mr. I need a motion to approve the treasurer's report as presented. Second. Okay, Herman? 
Yes. Pappas? Yes. Palmer? Yes. Flores? Yes. Belt? Yes. Missouri? Yes. And Hernandez? Yes. Motion carried. I have not received any notification nor emails for public comment. So moving into the movers for elementary and old business. Yep. Uh, we put it around the business simply because we had talked about it before. Of course. Um, we included all three of the companies we reached out to in their bids in terms of what they could provide us. Um, so. I mentioned the $95,000 one last time. I said, ain't no way yeah. uh, that we mm -hmm. found two others. <clears throat> the one we did find that was going to be the cheapest. There, we I think it's four days, Marla, is that right? Four days total? I believe so, yes. They're going to help us out yeah. um, for $15,000. That includes putting stuff in and taking stuff back out for us. So why is a huge discrepancy? Um, the $95,000 group wanted to take it off site, keep it on their own and within their own stuff. Um, mm -hmm. We were able to get some cargo containers here. It's only cost $3,500 total. That's why it's not on your guys' stuff. It's less than 5,000. Sure. Um, so that's all set. I mean, so okay. the other one, same thing. Um, the other group, and I can't remember if I thought I had their bid. I apologize. Um, <clears throat> same thing, they just yeah. charge a little bit more. 28. For, yeah. yeah. They charge more per man hour, but other than that. Okay. Um, they are not packing things up for us. They are simply, mm -hmm. they're grunt work. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, they take stuff out the door. and. Um, so, okay. they should be here on the 6th and 7th. Wonderful. Okay, any questions about the movers? I do. Yeah. Um, so, the quotes in here, they say that they are just non-binding quotes and that everything will be charged like time and material. And that they're also charging us for the, the ferry movers are charging us for um, travel both ways from their location to our location. So is that all included in the quote? I mean, I just, yeah, the, seeing such a huge discrepancy between the, you know, this, I, you explained about the, you know, the Midwest movers, but still between this ferry and this bills movers, it's like almost $13,000 difference. So I just don't want somebody to get a quote. And then it's like, well, guess what? It's time and material and we are spending more time. So as they've explained to Mr. Stula, who explained it to me, what you see is what exactly what they're gonna charge us to, to get here, to move it and put it into the box and then depart and then come back later. Um, there's, as, as far as Mr. Stula understands, there's no additional, uh, now what they could say is if you're gonna, if you need a forklift, that's on us to buy, but those, those are the kind of things that would be additional to that, but in terms of manpower and, and people, that's what it is. And, and so I'm assuming the consultant came out to the site and saw it and, yeah, and yeah, everything, Mike and that's how it. he came up with his yep. bidding hours and everything. Yep. <clears throat> and that is right along since now I know with moving what they're charging, so. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Okay, then I need a motion to approve the cost for removing and returning contents of the elementary school classrooms in preparation for asbestos removal to ferry movers of Sherrillville, Indiana, in the amount of five or fifteen thousand six hundred and sixty dollars. So second. Okay, Pappas? Yes. Omar? Yes. Flores? Yes. Belt? Yes. Missouri? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Herman? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, and for the employment portion, I need a motion to approve the resignation of Cascan Maria Lunum as teacher aide. So moved. Second. Okay, uh, Palmer? Yes. Flores? Yes. Belt? Yes. Missouri? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Herman? Yes. Pappas? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, any questions on the IHSA membership or explanation? It's the same thing. We did this last year. year. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's new. Thing. Yep, they made us do it last year and now it's going to be a rotating thing. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to read it all? Yes, I will. Yes. Uh, motion yes. to approve the renewal of membership in the Illinois High School Association and to adopt and abide by the Constitution, bylaws, terms and conditions, and administrative procedures, guidelines, and policies of the Illinois High School Association for the year of July 1st, 2022 through June 30th, 2023. And Ron had already said so. Moved. 
So. Second. <laughs> Flores? Yes. Belt? Yes. Missouri? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Herman? Yes. Pappas? Yes. And Palmer? Yes. Great. I need a motion to proceed to Executive Session for Open Meetings Act Exemptions 2C1 and 2C2. So Second. Okay, Belt? Yes. Missouri? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Herman? Yes. Pappas? Yes. Paul Meyer? Yes. Flores? Yes. Motion carried. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay. We are back in regular session. Uh, any other items? Um, yeah, I put in my report, but I figured I want to make sure everybody, um, if you didn't see it, you heard it. GRP um, met with the abatement company and also the tiling company, and then GRP actually came in again today to meet with Mike and I. Um, it looks like the only one that could even take us into August is going to be GRP, just because of the amount of work they have. Mm -hmm. They will have two, uh, two crews here every single day over the summer. Um, they are going to start. They've already started some of the second shift work. They've actually gotten the boilers taken care of. They've already paid, um, uh, poured one, uh, removed the one at the elementary, and they poured the the foundations over here. Um, they're going to start working second shift. If you were to happen to pop in some of the classrooms, you'll see a big blue X on the wall. That's where the uh, so PUV is going to take place. Are you going to not take place? But that's where we're going to put the PUV. And then one of the things they're going to start doing the second shift is um, obviously. A lot of the duct work and yeah. things that that they can't reuse, and they're also going to start putting in those um, uh, tearing out the mason between the classrooms. Uh, they have assured me that everything is going to be cleaned up, and you won't even recognize that they were there. Um, and materials are all coming in yep. on time. Yep. They, they, right. They've not given me any indication otherwise. Um, okay. So that's awesome. So yeah, do they have a plan in place? The bathroom will actually be taken care of before the end of June. Wow. Uh, the towel people said they should be done by the end of June, but you know, let's let's give them into July. Yeah. I'm sorry, abatement's done in June. Um, the bathroom's done mid July. Wow. So, okay. so everything seems like it's going to. That's uh, awesome. It's in. all coming together. Yep. Coordination. What um, with the elementary boilers the other day? Like, was it an easy fix? Or I heard smoke. I heard all sorts of stuff. I mean. Yep. I don't know if the word's easy fix. The, the problem is it, it shut down, it broke, and then it locked us out. So it wasn't like it needed to be fixed, it needed to be unlocked. And we didn't have that capability. It's uh, because normally, um, you know, G and I did it before, then it was Nick, and then it, now it's Keystone. Um, and again, it, like I said, it knew that it's on its last leg. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of like Terminator. It knows where you're going it, so it's going to give every bit of <laughs> Not going less. down without a fight. Yeah. Um, our hope is that we have spring break. We don't have to turn back on because it may not. One day we'll be above <laughs> 60 degrees again. One yeah. day. Thankfully, we're doing yeah. this all now. Because yeah. could you imagine if we were looking into another year? I think Mike would no. resign. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Great. Um, the other thing is I wanted to let you guys know that I had, give, I had given Blue Fox a formal termination of services for May 31st. Um, they wanted to, because we're going into the summer summer yeah, right. months, they wanted to do a suspension of services. I said, no, thank you. We're going to terminate services. And then if we really need to move into next year with something, we'll figure out something. Okay. And hopefully so. we get people. Yes. We're, I would love to hire six people. Yeah. And I have all back in-house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I know we don't have principals here, but I noticed like we can't do summer school because we don't have any teachers that want to do it. Yeah. Is there anything on I mean, COVID like? So when I, I, years ago, I had taught summer school here when I had my teaching degree and I was like a first or second year teacher. Do you put this out to any licensed teachers? So in the district, yes. I mean, we, oh. we, have, we haven't outsourced it. Because, um, like, it was advertised as a summer school. I know it was weird, but, I mean, I followed their program, and it worked out fine as a younger teacher. I, I just didn't know if that was an option. That's what I was kind of wondering. If we could even, you could do a summer school sub, but you really would have to say, we have to have at least one per grade yeah. level to do the program at all. Yeah. So if you don't get I mean, that, I had, had like... And the other problem we run into at the elementary level is you don't have a room. You, We'd have to do it. Play, we have to put them in. The and it, I mean, I know it saves money and stuff. It's just yeah. with COVID. Like, are there any kids that like? I had kids in my summer program that needed it for whatever IEP or special needs or whatever to keep that. There's no kids 
Because I know they do extended school year through the other places. Yeah, so anybody who requires those, okay. I mean, they have two room service. Like okay. Um, I will say the high school and the high school is still doing theirs, but it's simply here's ingenuity to those pro those students. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Steve still is a he's a two hundred one, so he'll still check in with them to make sure that you know they're still keeping up with things. Okay. Um, it's not ideal, but you guys you guys said it. People are drained. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's been been a long year for a lot of these. <coughs> Yeah. staff members and then I have another question I know it's, yeah, I actually have questions question. when they're not here um, is there a reason that the junior high is taking all three of their state science tests back to back on the same day that might just be how the state requires it I, I don't know no. if that's Michelle like I took yeah. one per day oh, we, yeah. did already did ours. I just well, we did that. it with IAR but we did one per day yeah yeah the and science just, test is a lot shorter than the IAR well, it's on time. So it's on time. Yeah. So it, it, they have it's open. It's thirty-five questions per test. Also, all the kids get every accommodation needed. Is that just for eighth? No, you do it for fifth. Fifth and eighth. Okay. All right. So, I could ask Michelle. Okay. Um, I, I don't want to be the guy that says it, but a science assessment isn't. I know nobody. It's not a big thing, but. Yeah. No, I get it. Um, I'm not sure if you guys heard the great news. You may have. Um, the state is looking to, to change their IAR from one time a year to three. Uh -huh. Yeah, because we need more fun. So, <laughs> so if that bill comes up, I, I will assure you that we will uh, be reaching out to our. It is just it, it, this this test this year. It, it is just so I'm pretty sure not that aligned. Is the right. We're in the middle. I'm in the it. I'm in the middle of it. It is so not aligned. It. it Uh, and then lastly, part of my report uh, wasn't in the one I gave you guys. Uh, uh, Pritzker signed in House Bill 1167. Those who don't know, that's the COVID, um, yeah, COVID reimbursement that. days. Um, Karen and I sat through a webinar on, Monday, on Friday. Good news for us. We went through all everybody that had COVID days this year. And I think you guys already did an MOU. So most of those staff members already got five days back. Um, I think it's a handful of teachers who have to get sick days back. We actually don't have to compensate anybody for doc days. And it's That's, just for vaccinated too, right? Yeah, okay. Yep. And you have to still be employed as of April 5th. Um, you can still be vaccinated. And if you're unvaccinated right now and you went and got the vaccine, mm -hmm. you would have to get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. You can't actually get the Pfizer one because you have to be fully vaccinated by May, oh, okay. May 11th, oh, May, May 7th. Okay. And that includes two weeks after your second dose, which is impossible to get any other way but Johnson & Johnson. Got it. Interesting. Okay. All right. Any upcoming dates or items for next board meeting? I don't know if you know this, there's an open um, referendum open house on April 25th. There is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And graduation. Oh, yes. May 22, May 22nd. May 22nd. May, 20, May 22nd for high, high school, school. And then May 27th for eighth grade. The promotion, no, I think it's the Tuesday. I think yeah, it's the 24th. Yeah. 24th? Okay, so yeah, if, if yeah. anybody yeah. Uh, plans on going to those, uh, I'm sure Marlo will put it out, but we need to let her know. Next one. Next one. Okay. Just put that on the way Wait, do we have to have like, people there for the eighth grade graduation? The yeah. promotion? I mean, promotion. It's, yeah. it, you, you can always. We, we do it, but we sit there and do nothing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll be there for Dr. Well, Dr. Quasi will. Like, yeah, Dr. Quasi will hand out diplomas. We don't hand out diplomas except for high school. Yeah. Maybe I'll come to high school. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Just come to both. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. I'm gonna. I'll be there. Yeah. Oh, the dance. Oh, oh yeah. Had nearly 100 kids at it. Wait. On Friday. Oh, oh, at the junior, junior high. high. I, would, I thought you meant the high school one because they hear the high school one wasn't. Yeah. Well, I um, I had nearly 100 kids at Friday, on a Friday before spring break. I had nearly 100 kids at a dance. Well, it sounds okay. like that, that was, was a phenomenal. success. Uh, well, I had 100 kids that started at the dance because they dropped like flies within about 15 minutes. <laughs> at least they went there. <laughs> How many complaints did you get about the 3 o'clock dance? Yeah. Uh, outside the public comment? That you got? Did none came to anybody? Okay. Maybe not public comment. But we heard comments. <laughs> My response is it's it's junior high. I worked in three different four different junior highs and three different junior highs. We never had any dance beyond the eighth grade dance at the end of the year that wasn't We're three o'clock. Homewood and Lansing is where I thought. 
the oh. even later in the evening, I'm just saying. Oh, I can imagine doing the dance in Lansing. Oh my gosh, I love my dances. No. It's great. The boat trip is even more fun. Okay, um, so just uh, need a motion to adjourn. So. Mm -hmm. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.